Let's now perform same delete operations using graphical interface Robo3D. Remember that we have just deleted tempdb. That's why we need to create tempdb, create temp collection, load some documents into it, and then delete all of this. And let's do this just in Robo3D. Okay, let's start creating tempdb. Now there is mydb, configdb, and admin and local dbs. Just right button click, create database, and temp db here. Create. So here it is, temp db. Let's open shell here. I can create collection in two ways. Either load documents into collection or just expand temp db, then collections, and right click, create collection. And let's here create temp collection. Like this, create. And let's open shell to this temp collection. There are no documents inside of this collection at the moment. Let's now insert some documents into this collection using prepared earlier command. Here it is. Just copy this command and paste into embedded MongoDB shell. And let's execute it, command enter. So five documents were inserted. Let's execute find operation again with empty query, like this. So five documents in the collection. I can delete documents after switching to table view and then clicking right button and just delete document. Delete document with ID, object ID. Yes, document was deleted. Now there are just four documents. Let's switch back to text mode. So just four documents here. So pretty simple. Right button click, delete one more document. Yes. Okay, let's now delete temp collection. Right button click on the temp collection and drop collection. Pretty simple. Confirmation, yes. And finally, let's delete temp db. Right button click on the temp db and drop database. And yes here. Now I don't have temp db, temp collection and any documents in this collection. Same operations you can easily perform using MongoDB Compass. Okay, let's summarize what we have learned in this module. See you shortly.